What's up, Blender artist? We are in the final part of Blender Beginner's tutorial. I see a lot of our brothers watch my tutorials and send their artwork to my page. It makes me feel so proud. What can I say? Okay, like I already said, this is going to be the last episode of Beginner's series. We are in the rendering class, and I'm going to be your teacher for this class. This is the setup we made in previous tutorial. You can access all tutorials by going down the description. To preview our model in render view, you need to switch to render mode. Right now it's dark, but not completely black. The reason why it's murky, because we lack of lighting. What we need is a light. Press Shift A and select light. Here we have four different options. Let me pick sun. This type of lighting will perform like a real world sun. Next, we have a plane. This light will mostly uses for photo shoot or studio light. We discuss a lot about lighting in upcoming videos. What I recommend for beginners is to start using HDRI. For that, I split the screen into half. Left tab would be shader editor. Default it selected to object. We need to change it into world. Now this is the node which gives us a light. By increase it, you can notice our scene starts brilliant. This gives us unrealistic light. To set up HDRI, first thing you to do is to install the Node Wrangler add-on to your Blender. Now select the background and press Ctrl T to add these three nodes. Last step is to open your HDRI to the image texture node. So press open button and navigate to your HDRI file. I have downloaded few HDRIs. I'm going to use the Metro Nord. You can download the HDRI from the video description. Now you can rotate the angle by the help of mapping node, or I'll show you another way. Next, you need to follow a rule if you're using HDRIs. You need to find brighter area and move your scene depending on its direction. But before that, we need a camera. Press Shift A and select camera. This is the most important part I want your attention. It's painful to move your camera over and over to capture your model. I'll teach you different method. Add camera as we've done before. Here's the secret. Now, you to find the best angle for your scene. Let me choose a slight top angle. Next, click the view and select align view. Then, select align active camera to view. This will automatically detect the current angle and place the camera to that position. For the image resolution size, it would be 2560 into 1080 pixel. Let me bring the model inside the camera. Now, increase the floor size until it's cover the entire image size. To make the view look cinematic, we need to increase the focal length, something like 200, or you can go more than me. Now, move it back by pressing Z, Z, and capture the full model. I don't like to present the model in middle. What I can do is to move the camera slightly to right side. Why we are doing this is to create dimensional view, and also we place a character on right side. Next, go to render mode. Let's see the rule. Right now, the model is facing at the low light position, which looks bad in final render. To prevent the situation, go to world property, expand the color, and again, expand vector. Now, under rotation, change the Z to axis rotational value until the model facing bright area. The camera always placed behind the brightness. Next to define how big our model is. Either we place a small or big object next to it. So this is a mini robot. I'm going to place a human being. Go to Blender Kit search tool and type human. Here you can select any one of these. I found this is cool and also free model. Just click and import to your scene. Let me scale the lady model and move it right side. Make sure that the lady is standing on the floor. Not floating in the air, also not overlap with floor. Let's see how it's look in camera view. Great! Now, the women leg define how big our robot is. You can even make the robot smaller. Lastly, I recommend you to change the render engine from EV to Cycles. I explained the reason, but before that, just have a look at this meme. In Cycles Engine, the lighting, shadow looks realistic compared to Eevee. Okay, let optimize the settings. First, the sample is huge, so reduce the value to 120. Render sample would be 240. I think it's a decent value. Then enable Denoise to smooth out the noise from the rendered image. Next, under Lights, turn off Light Tree for fast render. Then click Light Path, under Max Bounce, set 8 to All except volume. 
Scroll down, enable fast GI approximation to speed up render. Then scroll down and enable simplify. Now under viewport, change the subdivision value to two and also the same to render. The last main settings is under memory. Change the tiling value 64, 64, which is equal to 4096. Enable persistent data if there is no animation in your scene. Maybe if you want, you can modify the look or else leave it, no problem. That's all the settings you need to optimize for rendering image. Now let's have a look at composition. So go to the compositing tab. By default, the interface looks empty. To view the node, turn on the use node option. Now you can view these two nodes. First of all, let me enable some options for the render later by clicking this view layer. And here, I think we need to enable ambient occlusion. And next, hmm, let me first plug denoise node. Press spacebar and search denoise and plug it between these two nodes. Now you can see we need normal to render layer, so find it and check the box. Connect normal to normal and AO to albedo. The reason we plug the noise node is to prevent the noise from our final render image. Job done, go to the render and click render image. Wait until it's finished the process. The final mm. render looks something like this. The video is over at this point, but I would like to give some ideas in rendering. This is where you can unleash your creativity. For example, you can make this scene something like zombie edition. You can place some fallen zombie on the floor and duplicate our model and place it next to the zombies. Something like, the robot is scanning the dead bodies. It's my thoughts. You can make the scene however you want. So, play around with your ideas and it doesn't matter if it's bad or great. Just render image and send it to my Discord server. I will review each of your artwork. Make sure your render image tells a story. Here the lady is holding the robot. May she promoting or selling to someone? It kind of tells the story, right? Hmm. Yeah, I forgot to say this. We finished the Blender Beginners tutorial. Sure, thanks for all the support and my respect for those who finished the model with me. Hmm, that's all it's over. See you.